Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Recently, I saw a thread in the funny subreddit. It was a picture from a school yearbook and that asked people this question. If you founded America, what would you have done differently? And they had different people's photos with their answers to that question underneath. And one girl had answered this. I would create equal rights for women, such as equal pay, jobs for women, and I would end women suffrage. Can you see anything wrong with that sentence? Well, firstly, suffrage is spelled like this. Also, it should be women's suffrage or woman suffrage. How about now? Anything funny about that sentence? Well, suffrage doesn't mean the same thing as suffering. Suffering is physical or mental pain, so it'd be a good thing to end women's physical or mental pain. But suffrage means the right to vote, so she's saying that she would end women's right to vote, which is probably not what she meant to say. There's a channel on YouTube called Pronunciation Manual, which I think is pretty funny. There seems to be quite a few pronunciation channels on YouTube, and some of them attempt to give you the correct pronunciation, but in these videos, they pronounce the words incorrectly on purpose for comedic effect. For example, this is the name of an American singer, and if you look up how to pronounce that name on YouTube, Pronunciation Book will tell you it's Beyonce, and Pronunciation Manual will tell you it's Bianca Donk. Here are some more pronunciations from Pronunciation Manual. Gugathinchi, Mimae, Guzendusum, Beard, Beepeth. And if you're looking for a useful pronunciation guide, I strongly recommend Forvo. Kia ora, in Stick News today, Google and Levi's are working together to develop genes that will be able to interact with smartphones and tablets. Levi's have been making genes since the 1890s. Google has been slowly taking over the world since 1998. Now they've teamed up to create smart pants, which are expected to be on the market sometime in 2016. The companies haven't announced exactly what the genes will be capable of, but reports say users may be able to touch their genes to silence a phone call during a meeting or send a message simply by swiping their genes. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 17th of June. Kia ora. Today's word is prohibited. If something is prohibited, it means it's forbidden or banned or not allowed. In New Zealand, women used to be prohibited from voting. This is a sign from a park near my house. It says, parking or driving on grass prohibited. So you're not allowed to park or drive on the grass. And this sign was at a music festival that I went to last summer. It's a list of things that you weren't allowed to bring into the festival, including weapons, which I actually brought into the festival by accident. When I got to the gate, I found out that this is a weapon. It was with my tent, and the guy pulled it out, and he pointed to a box that was full of hammers, this kind of hammer and this kind of hammer, <laughs> and he said, you can put it in there or take it back to your car. So. I took it back to the car. Do a lot of people not know the word suffrage? I saw the video with that guy asking people to sign the petition to end women's suffrage. And he could have asked hundreds of people until he got some who didn't understand the word. Which show is that? 
How long ago was that? Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, that looks like it was at a high school though, so maybe you can let that slide. Yeah, that's true. But there's also a video with some woman on a talk show who don't know what the word means. It's called The View. It's a show with a group of women who talk over each other loudly. Speaking of women's suffrage, New Zealand was actually the first country in the world to give women the right to vote, which is probably why I understand the word. It was in 1893, so the 100 year anniversary was happening when I was at high school, so there's quite a bit of talk about it and I remember doing some kind of project about it in one of my classes. Women waited 144 years before earning suffering or suffrage. If a mature, multi-party democracy was so darn easy, everybody would have one. Suffrage. Suffering or suffrage has been stronger than all other teaching and has taught me to understand what your heart used to be. Suffering. Life is full of misery, loneliness and suffering or suffrage and it's all over much too soon. Suffering. Why is a woman to be treated differently? Women suffering or suffrage will succeed despite this miserable guerrilla opposition. Suffrage. To live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering or suffrage. Suffering. And that was The Daily English Show. Please go to thedailyenglishshow.com slash 1430 to see the script and the links to everything I've talked about in today's show. And while you're there, if you're using Adblock, We'd really appreciate it if you could disable it for our site. Click on the logo in your browser and then click on don't run on pages on this domain. See you tomorrow. Bye.